All right, so right now I'm in the middle of working on a review of a graphic novel, but I wanted to take a quick break from that just to do something that wouldn't take as much time to edit and work on. So I figured I'd just do a quick video just showing off some artwork. See, when I was in high school and college, I took several art courses, and while I wouldn't say I was the best artist, I'm pretty proud of the work I got done, and I still have a lot of them saved, so I figured I'd just take a few minutes and just show a few of them off. And if you like them or don't like them, just share what you think in the comments below. All right, let's do this. Okay, so the first one I made when I was in high school, it's a box kind of thing. The, th the whole point of this assignment was to take a box we made out of clay and then put it in a kiln, and it had to have a theme. So I went with the theme of the five senses. So the lid has a hand, you lift it, and it says touch. And the four sides of the box are an eye that says sight, an ear that says hear hearing, a mouth with a tongue open that says taste, and a nose that says smelling on it. And I'm aware that they do look a little bit off. I mean, well, first of all, if you put clay in a kiln, it will shrink a bit. And second of all, I only had like a week to do this, so I'm not actually surprised it's as good as it gets, or as good as it got. Uh, yeah, it... I'm trying to show every side, and then, like I said, here's the hand. Touch. I did have a problem, though. I wanted to give the ear, the nose, and the hand skin texture, or skin color, I should say. But they didn't really have skin color, so I put yellow mixed with little bits of red and green. But for some reason, you can kind of see it on the hand. The red and green, I guess, didn't mix well, so they're just kind of spotty in random spots. But I honestly think it's really good in the end. And I don't really, don't really use the box for anything. I just think it looks really cool. So, but overall, I'm really glad I got this done. Because I'm not an expert when it comes to carving and then just sticking clay together. But the fact that even years later, these things are still hold on pretty well, I think it looks pretty good. So, yeah, I'm, I really like this one. Okay, so the next one I have here is a sculpture. It has It's made of metal wire. Uh, newspapers that are layered on top of each other and then a couple layers of paint. I have one with black and metallic gold. And what it is was the project was to find an image of someone doing some sort of action and you just take a still image of that movement and then you try to make uh, the sculpture reflect that but you had to change the proportions of the body. So he has a very scrawny arm and very scrawny body but his legs are really wide and his head is huge. So, yes, you can tell from a distance that this is supposed to be of someone swimming on the water, but obviously the proportions are really different. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but right here is his other arm. So, like, if you got one arm forward and one arm back as you're kicking. So, yeah, it's something very simple, but I honestly really like this, and sorry it's a bit dusty. But, yeah, I think this one's also pretty cool. All right, now I've got here my gargoyle, which is also made out of clay that was cooked in a kiln. Uh, I don't really remember too many specifics on this project. I just was told you just got to make uh, a gargoyle out of clay that has some human features and some animal features. So it has horns. Originally, it was supposed to be fangs, but one of them broke like that day that was supposed to go in the kiln. So I just basically moved the other one over and just made it into a tongue. Uh, kind of like exaggerated green eyes, a bit of a mohawk and unibrow. I don't know why I did that. And then just like a few like I tried to do scales over the over the mouth it's kind of hard to see but you can kind of see a couple of them right here so yeah this is something very simple but i thought it was really fun to do although i will admit i don't know why i didn't paint the inside i mean i didn't even do a base coat of white but i did so many crazy colors on top i got some gold some brown black blue green red i don't know why i didn't paint the inside even a base coat of white but yeah just something kind of creepy but something i really like and yeah i'm 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 at least glad I kept this thing because it is cool. All right, next up I have a tribal mask made out of cardboard, uh, some pieces of paper, a ripped up shirt, and horse hair. And yes, this is authentic horse hair. I got it from a friend of mine. I'm gonna kind of take my face off. So basically, we had to make our own, I guess, tribal masks, and we had to look up various different tribal masks of like African, South American, and and Australian indigenous tribes. And I just kind of made my own. So I kind of went with like a cat warrior theme. The fangs, uh, the bit in the nose kind of sticks out. But I also want to give it a bit of story and personality. So I gave it like like a gemstone over the head. 
like I said, it's an old ripped up shirt that I painted with, so maybe like the stripes could r maybe show some sort of status or hierarchy. Uh, the horse hair was just just because you know horse hair, why not? And the scar above the eye, which I know is a bit cliche, do just like, one scar above the eye, but eh, I thought it was cool. And then just like I said, just a couple of random like triangles just to symbolize warrior paint. So I don't remember what this was. I guess I tried to give him a goatee. I don't know what this last thing was on the bottom. It's the only thing about this I don't remember, but hey, I think it's cool. And there is a metal wire behind it, but I realized after I got this done that by trying to put it on my face, it actually knocks some of the horse hair off. And it's hard to see. There are also cat ears hidden behind the horse hair, but unfortunately, yeah, if I remove it or try to move the horse hair, a lot of it falls off. In fact, you can kind of see a few of it's actually hanging down here. But yeah, this I, it is still something I really like. And I... And once again, I don't know why I didn't paint the back, but at least this time the excuse is the horsehair covers it, which again, some of it just fell off, I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, I think it's cool. Okay, so this next one, I really don't remember exactly what the assignment was. Uh, we were supposed to take layers of, I'm not really sure what this material is, it's not really sure what it is actually, I mean, it looks like styrofoam blocks, but I could be wrong, because this one actually I thought was high school, this was a middle school art project, and basically we were supposed to slightly change the shape of every uh, styrofoam block. I'm just going to assume it's styrofoam because I honestly can't remember. And uh, try and have like some sort of like, like almost like a pile of blocks, but each one's a slightly different shape or size. And then I just colored all of them differently. I took, I'm not sure what these are. They look like beads that you have like on Mardi Gras necklaces and just kind of stack them. And like every couple I paid in a different color. Yeah, this is one of the few I actually am not a fan of looking back on it, but I still think it's okay. I mean, I think this one, once again, was like a week-long project, so I kind of just rushed it. But, eh, something simple, but something I like. I think at least I'm kind of glad I kept. One I'm, not one I'm proud of, though, because it obviously is kind of cheap-looking, but, eh. Not every artwork is a masterpiece, but, hey, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, am I right? Okay, for this next one, actually, I took the laptop off the desk because I didn't want to risk taking it off. If you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen this one hanging in the background. Uh, and we had to do, basically, an uh, Asian lantern. And it had to have a theme. You could do either four or six-sided. I think I was the only one who did six-sided just because it would require a lot more. And there had to be a theme with each side. So every side is an animal, crane, tortoise bats, butterfly, cricket, and cicada. And uh, basically, I tr try to do, I basically looked up the various animals, that was my theme, just animals, and uh, there's a silhouette of them, they're uh, Japanese, uh, I forgot what the term is uh, for the Japanese letters, but it's just in the Japanese language here, and uh, it's all tied together with red rope. And then there's the English, also, like, translation, it's hard to see, of, like, the deeper meaning of what the animal symbolizes. So, like, for right here, cricket, fighting spirits, cicada, life after death, the crane, longevity, long marriage, tortoise, longevity, immortality, bats, long life, wealth, fortune, and virtue, because I think there's several for bats, that's why I did several bats on this one, and butterfly, long life, and beauty. So, yeah, this is actually one of my personal favorite ones, even if, admittedly, it is kind of, looks like because it's made out of paper that I had to paint on, the paper's kind of bending, so it doesn't look like evenly like a Japanese lantern, but this one actually was one of the longest projects I had. This one was like two and a half, three weeks, but yeah, I think it does look pretty cool, and again, if you've watched a handful of my videos, you've probably seen this one, so now getting an up-close view of it, now you kind of know what it is. Okay, this one is a landscape painting I did. We had to look up various landscapes, and then we had to pick one, and uh, I chose this field that has many uh, pink and uh, tulips on a cloudy day. Now I'm gonna, now I'm right now holding it so you can see the whole thing, but I'm gonna get a little bit closer in a second and show off about half of it than the other half. So here's the upper half of it. So it's a bit of a cloudy day, and it's a little hard to tell, but because the clouds are uh, 
not all clouds are basically the same, I guess, density. So, like, they're, some of them are more see-through than others. And then the trees, like, trees are not solid green. And in some cases, you can see the branches better than others on some of the trees. All right, now the lower half. From a distance, they all look solid pink with maybe, like, one little purple dot here and there. But as you get closer, you see a bit more red, a little bit more white. And you can kind of make out the ground a bit more. But yeah, not really much to say with this one. It's just a landscape painting, a bit of a tear right here. This one is another one that I really like. Uh, again, I don't have much else to say about this one. Just really like it. And uh, this one I keep on the wall behind my desk. That's why it hasn't been as noticeable in the background. Some of the other artworks I've done have been, but this one's not because it's basically right above me. All right, the last one I got today is the Dr. Seuss-inspired house project I made. Now, this one, basically, if you've seen any Dr. Seuss book or movie, all the houses have very strange proportions. So we are basically told to do a very uh, cr uh, crazy house made out of clay inspired by the Dr. Seuss one. So I went with this very tall, like this was taller than most other ones in my class. I think the, I think the tallest side is over a foot tall. And... Uh, this one is actually not completed, but on the one hand, I think it actually kind of works that way because it looks kind of cool. So every side of the house has to basically be a crazy shape, but also has to go with part of your personality. So uh, each side here, uh, I'm a Christian, uh, specifically a Baptist, which is of the Protestant branch. So it has the cross, Jesus, and the fish. And actually, once again, I didn't finish. I was going to put a few other words on here, but just ran out of time. Uh, I'm a bit of a nerd, so I put school right there in the bottom, and there's various courses I like. Art, obviously in the top corner. History, I'm, and a few other courses as well. On this one, I'm a bit, I like, I watch a lot of television shows, specifically game shows. There's a few game shows on here. And fitting, uh, Face Off is one of them, which is, uh, uh here's Survivor. Uh, there's a few other shows, but I can't quite make out all of them. I probably should have made them a little bit thicker, but... Because this thing is so big, I had to make the walls fairly thin, so I couldn't write too thick. And here, uh, it's the names of members of my family, my mom, my dad, my sister, a couple of my pets. And then the inside, I just kind of just copied the style of the wall on the opposite side of the wall, like this. And there's supposed to be a roof, like I said, but I just ran out of time, so I didn't get the roof done in time. So yeah, while this is incomplete, I think it looks really cool as a whole. Show off each side one last time. And yeah, so, a bit crazy, but eh, I like it. And plus, best of all, Echo. Bit of an echo. Oh, <laughs> dusty in there. From uh, the windows, which are all crazy sizes, exaggerated as well. Because no one really have windows like this. But hey, as well, I'm proud of this one. I love this. <laughs> Put down slowly, and pause. All right, well, that's all I got to show today. Might do this again sometime, and uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, hopefully within the next few days, the the video over the graphic novel that I've been working on for the last, like, two weeks, hopefully it'll be up soon. This was just something just to keep my resolution at the beginning of the year to upload at least one video a week. Sticking by that. All right, well, like, share, subscribe. If you really liked some of my work or if you just want to just criticize some of my work, hey, put a comment below. And uh, if I get a chance, I'll try to respond to some of it. Some, some of them, sorry. And, uh, yeah, not much else to say, but thank you, everyone who watched this, and have a good day. Take care.